On February 26th of 2020, Casey Bonhorst, who grew up in Viberg, was working for Domino's Pizza. He was delivering a pizza in the neighborhood of 26th in Cleveland when two men approached him and demanded money. The gunman fired and Casey died at the scene that night. No matter how prepared you are, you can't prevent somebody that has that determination to cause harm. And that's the situation with Casey. Everything from a safety and security standpoint, Casey did right. The day and age that we live in, there are aspects of this job that can be dangerous. It's just about mitigating the risk. It's not about eliminating it completely. He was a big guy. He, did, he didn't really think people would ever try to mess with him. He knew what he was doing. It was just he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He never figured this was a dangerous job. It's, you know, you're delivering pizza and, a, and, a, and that's a decent part of Sioux Falls. It just happened. You think about it, like, how would I handle this? And you pray it never happens, and when it does, you're still not prepared for it happening. In the school, I mean, he could do everything. He played softball growing up, basketball, football he really loved. He was in band. He was a three-year uh, delegate to our all-state choir. And he worked the theater. We got a 63 Chevy pickup was my grandfather's. Well, Casey and I spent a couple of years rebuilding that. And if you go out in the shop now, there's a whole line of trophies from car shows. Well, that came from his involvement in that. He had a big heart. He's a big guy, but he had a big heart. Definitely one of a kind. He's a big teddy bear. You know, he would do anything and everything for anyone if you asked him to. He enjoyed the job. He enjoyed the people he worked with. He liked to do a good job. If he did a job, he wanted to do it right. And he really didn't like it when people were slacking. If the place needed cleaning up, if they needed somebody in food prep or whatever, he could jump in and, and do that. And he was kind of proud that he would be that guy. The judge said, and she was addressing the defendants that had they chosen to go to work for Domino's, that Casey would have been the guy to be their friend, to train them, to help them. There was over 250 people at the, the visitation and the funeral the next day. And I mean, people that I hadn't seen for years showed up. I had a lady, Casey delivered, I realized Casey delivered pizza to me. The way, when the Domino's community, when we all came together for his funeral, you know, it was just, it was a wave of blue. His godparents uh, wanted to do something, wanted to create a bench in memory of Casey. The Lund Theater Board, they have a bench that they had purchased too that would, in memory of Casey. Casey's mom and dad talked with us about the sentence handed down by Judge Robin Hellman. I think justice was done. I mean, they both, they're both part of it. They're both going away for a very, very long time and that's justice. Casey um, will never be forgotten in our community and within Team Honey Badger. His mom and dad, definitely, we want to keep them always close to us because they lost their only child that day. His parents are absolutely phenomenal people and they did a very, very good job raising Casey. He was a phenomenal person. For Domino's, Susan Graves, everybody, all the folks came to the funeral and, and gave us support. Can't thank them enough. This award is just a wonderful thing and we appreciate it very much.